Okay, uh, my name is Muhammad Alban. I'm a technical lead and lead outlet at Open Source. Okay, I want to introduce customizing the TFS process workflow. Uh, actually, we were doing this through uh, five points. The first one is create prohibited groups and then assign prohibited groups permission for lab and build and source. The third is create fields that will be used uh, in the process like reasons and uh, something like created by or activated by, activated date and so on and so forth. Customizing and creating new work items and finally assign prohibited groups to work items changing states. Uh, as I have created many uh, prohibited groups for each changing states, so I start assigning the states uh, their prohibited groups that were responsible for. Okay, let's start by opening up the process. We must first install the power tool. As we can see here, that we will see the group permissions that we created all prohibited groups by I created. Of course, I created many prohibited groups. Actually, this is my approach for customizing the process. We can see here that uh, prohibited group for create user story or maybe close user story for view build definition. Here is the list of the prohibited groups I created. A lot of prohibited groups. And each one has prohibited feature. I start go to the lab management and assign deny for each prohibited group. As we can see, I will go to the build and do the same for the prohibited group. For example, delete builds will deny to delete builds and so on. I will go also for source control and start assigning. The permission for the source control. Okay, let's go to the enhancement and start adding the fields. This is the second step uh, or third step after we creating. I create the first field, the second one holding by dimension to be uh, go to the data warehouse, holding it and the date the type is date now and dimension 2. I will start creating many fields as needed like or as we see here and then I start to go to the workflow and start customizing it. As we can see I will draw a new state. I will call the state on hold for the enhancement, I will change the start to be to the on hold and I will write transit from on hold to active. I will add reason for this transition. The reason is mandatory field and must be added. I will add fields activated by start adding rule type like copy the current user new valid user which mean all users and the new then required so it, it become mandatory that we must the system must record activated by activated date server default and start clock. So now I add activated date and activated by to the transition. So when the work transition from this state to this state, it will save this information. 
The second state I will add is resolved for the enhancement uh, work items. I will change from active to resolved. As we can see, this is a transition from act to resolve. I will also do transition from resolve to close. As we know that reason is mandatory, so we will add the reason as verified. I will go to the transition and start the resolve. I change it to be fixed. I go to the field and go to the closed. Remove it. I don't need it. Close it because this is not the state. Okay, server default okay but it is not the close date it's okay to be read only I will go to the result and start adding new fields to be empty empty what a closed by because when you go to resolve, you want to empty the closed by and the closed date that uh, for history of this work item. We can see we can copy value or field value will put any text if field we must tell the system what field to copy Now resolve it by, which will resolve it by. This enhancement resolved by the rules will be empty. Now it also will be empty. Now all this field become empty when this state is active. So in the active state, all this field will become empty. I go to the transition that we open the enhancement from close to be active and assign to and the copy the closed by. But it, actually, it, it should be uh, yes, it's okay. The closed by. So when you reactive the, the enhancement, it will, it will assign to the one that closed it. This is very important, I think, it's very elegant. As you can see, copy and valid user and require the most used uh, rules for fields. In the workflow, copy and value well user required and server default for plus to take the time. We will do 
transition from resolver to active because sometimes when, when resolver it does not as we expected to solve this issue or enhancement so the one that solved the one that uh, verify the resolving of the enhancement will be able to reactivate the enhancement so we can see here uh, rejected of course that is this enhancement was uh, rejected so now it's activated we can say that who is this? Who one? Who is the one that activate uh, this work item? So we will copy from current user and take valid user and required as we almost do. This is assigned to will copy from field and this field will choose closed by the one that resulted by because when I reactive I want the one that resolved by this makes the work. So I will make transition from on hold to closed in case of this enhancement it is not good. We don't want to activate it, so we will close it to be closed. We will add reason as a rejected. And here we can use closed. To know who is a close uh, this work item, so we must copy the current user and be valid user, and third, or finally, to be required as well. What you can see here is how to make a read only for field in the specific state or transition from status to state. now it's okay we can see here how we assign the prohibited groups for the transition if we go to transition from on hold to active that we can see this is not for prohibited approved enhancement so anyone in the prohibited approved will not be able to transfer the work item from this state to this state prohibited close enhancement as we can see Let's see the integration build also as a field. We can make this field uh, just read only for a specific group. As we can see here, it is read only for prohibited change integers integrated in build. So anyone in this group will not be able uh, to edit the field. Just read only. Okay. Let's talk about Coast by. Coast by is new field I just added to the bug and bad code. And it is the same you will use with prohibited change bug Coast by. So 
so no one can be able to change the post by unless the one that has the permission and this is the post by uh, field as we know it is a valid user so it